because uh, Haugang, they are still a very, very good side. You know, they've got players who can do damage, uh, but they are missing a couple of players uh, tonight, especially their striker up top, Pedro Bertoluzzo. Yes, we have a look at the referees. Mohamed Taki was already in the news a couple of weeks ago when he, well, gave a throw to whichever side it was. <laughs> and then one side took it, the other side complained. The goal stood. That match was between Ballastia and Tampanese Rovers. Hopefully, this one will be incident-free. The Haugang starting 11 then, missing two players. But Luto, of course, as Shasi was saying, probably injured. Sahil Suhaimi comes in, probably starting up front. And Mohaimin is the other player out as well. And in his place comes Amy Reka. And here is the Gelang International's lineup. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, as they say. So it's not fixed at all. It's the same starting 11 that beats Lion City Sailors by a goal to nil. That goal scored by number 10, Vincent Bezacourt by Zuzu. Oh, what a pass that was. That's a lovely ball played out by Bezakor. Can he complete it with another pass inside? That's brilliant defending. You'd have to say Kalang. Hezuka picking out those passes long and sharp. Has one. Oh, Sime Zuzu. Surely this is the opening goal. It is. They were appealing and saying it might have come off his hand. He should have scored at the first bite of the cherry, of course, with his head. Yes, before that, wasn't it? But this was uh, the cross from Hazwan. What a ball. He said it, you know, should have uh, hit it the first time, but they are appealing for handball. Can't really tell from here, but what a finish. It is a very good delivery. But, uh, it's gone to the head of a player in green. The shot uh, finally does come back, and it was always rising. Ball given away needlessly. It's uh, put out uh, Zuzul yet again finding Hazwan. A shot charged down, had to be cleared first time, and it was Sahil. That long diagonal ball is a real peach, but Zaiful Nizam's starting position was so very good. Duzul, but all three of them were behind him. That's a very poor touch. It's picked up an uh, opportunity now after another defensive lapse, this time by a team in green. And it could have just been diverted into the back of his own net. He was got punished there. Moritz uh, rolling it into space once again. Sahil invited to come forward. Trying to work something out in terms of the one-two with Amy Reka. It's uh, free and available. That's a lovely cross and almost the equalizer. Uh, from Haugang. Exactly, and this was a very, very good ball in. And <laughs> Shawal there just suffocating this uh, Haugang team. Ball played in behind the channels once again for Simei Zuzul. That's uh, right down the channels for Simei Zuzul. Ridwan Barudin's off his goal line. An opportunity for that strike, which takes a deflection almost wicked enough to beat the goalkeeper who was going in the same direction. This was almost too easy, wasn't it? The cutback and look, there was no man on Tezuka there. Rescued by Amy. A deflected cross. It falls for Sahil. Well, he tried to control it and he could have just let it run out. Shahil tumbles, the referee doesn't see a foul to that. Simei Zuzul's chasing after another loose ball. He gets in front of Najlim. He's got to do it all by himself, finally has support. The shots from Bezakor straight at Ridwan. Making full use of his strike there, going past the youngster, and then laying it off for Bezakor. Straight at the goalkeeper, though. Last week, of course, against Tanjong Paga, which uh, is already matched. Uh, his totals for last season. It's the first time that he scored in back-to-back -back seasons for Haugang. Oh, that's a clever ball that was as well. Bezakor! He has a fullback that was covering all the time and bombing forward in every given moment. Ahmad Sheher has done so again <laughs> and his gallop results in a free kick in a very dangerous position and the first yellow of the night. Well, you just spoke about the combination. There you go. That was a back heel from Hyrule Hairi for Ahmad Shahir there. Great play from uh, plays on down that left hand side. Takahiro Tezuka to take this. Might be aiming for goal. Won't be surprised if he does. This one's gone to the far poles. Goalkeeper completely flapped at it. And it was almost uh, touched on in the end. And then lost their next six games. Went winless in their next six, including losses in five. So Hafiz Sujad, who is. A natural left back coming on now. Perhaps Fidaos Kasim has looked at it and looked at how much they exploited and said, I need a left back there. Someone who is a natural at that position. Right back into this fixture. Andre Moritz reversed it quite superbly. Here's an opportunity for Sahil. Still Sahil. Almost the equalizer. Great save in the end by Zaiful Nizam. 
What a ball from Andre Moritz here. Take a look at this. Wonderful ball. And uh, Sahil here did everything right. What a save. It's great work by Hafiz. Still Hafiz. Another brilliant ball. It's onside. And they still can't get past Zaiful Nizam. Sahil loses possession of the ball. This is where they got to really take advantage of it. So we're spearing in towards goal. Kyrill Hairi. Confidence growing with each passing moment. <laughs> Everything but the finish. <laughs> For that last bit. Ooh. Redouan certainly took his chances and he's lost it inside the box. Saved first time. Sime Zuzu, surely, no, it's kept off the line. It's still alive though, it's not anymore. And how did Geylang not score the second goal after a fumble by Ridwan Barudin? I'm just speechless here. Listen, Haugang can't do this. It's it's ridiculous from the back here. And how did Sime Zuzul miss this one? It was great defending on the line there. Again from Zulfami. Ridwan here again. And that ball was poor and then Vescourt doing ever so well to do the pressing from the top. And this was Zuzul. Oh, that was great defending and this one. Moritz. Onside is Sawal. Sahil, great tackle, great tackle. Well, a number of chances that uh, we've had and seen and gone past. This might be another one. It should be another goal. It is another goal. It's offside, though. It's not going to count. Uh, the assistant referee's flag went up immediately. Zuka starting position. You can't tell because you can't tell when the kick was taken. Final, of course, waited 45 games for his first Singapore Premier League goal, but he's got three in his last 17. So he is probably in the goal-scoring form of his life. He's trying to get at the end of this corner. It's uh, flung right back in. Tezuka had to clear. And you'd have to say very good goalkeeping once again by Zaiful Nizam, who saw it late and got an all-important touch. Andre Moritz, that's a very clever ball. Nazru Nazari right across goal. Sime Zuzul on target, but uh, not enough venom behind that shot. Whatever is left in the leftovers in central midfield, tees it up for Hazawan. Sime Zuzul on target. Triangle, wasn't it? Ball from Tezuka, Hazwan, and then Sime Zuzu. Gonna get that power, that header there. I think he would be very disappointed. The bench was off backwards. Shot is on. Took a deflection. Corner, Haugang. Yeah, as long as it's 1 0, it's always dangerous for Gelang. The deflection of Emireka's shot, I think. Didn't want to go back because Zuzul was always chasing down, but the ball inadvertently gets to Zuzul. Tezuka free to roam. Took that shot on straight at the goalkeeper. Puma and Fadli Kamis. Another sweeping pass to Andre Moritz. Nazrul Nazari invited to come forward. Nazrul. Still Nazrul. Andre Moritz. Oh, it's taken a deflection. It's gone into the back of the net. Will it count, though? The flag doesn't go up. And Geylang finally concede in 2022 as Haugang come right back into this. One all. Started from that diagonal ball from Zulfami Arifin. And uh, Moritz then played there for the number four. Nazrul did ever so well. Got lucky with the deflection. Last touch was from uh, Shawal, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll be credited with the goal, Shawal Anwar. But uh, Andre Moritz uh, had a lot to say in this uh, build-up leading up to that. Yeah, it deflected out from Ahmad Shahi there. And uh, in the end, it doesn't matter who scores for Haugang. It's one all. Game on. Was he in an offside position? I think that's what the Geylang bench were claiming. Shawal Anwar. When we talk about Shawal and how he loves scoring in this fixture, that's his ninth goal already in this fixture. Uh, he's given the ball away, penalty, and a mistake by conceding two in as many minutes. Yeah, the mistake was that he didn't clear it first time. Tried to control it, and then there, that touch, he didn't know where Shawal was.
Haugang with an opportunity to get right back in it. Geelang International wounded by two ex-players, Shawal Anwar and now Amy Rekha. And Moritz this time goes long. Another brilliant delivery kept out by the goalkeeper Hafiz. Always rising. Come on. And Surya Prakash, <laughs> the two aforementioned. Zaifaz goes right up there, trying to prove his manager right. Fadli Kamis, who has had a good game, snuffing out the threat of Sahil Sohami and Corsa Faisal. Just about got it right. Shahir flung in the box. Space opening up now for Tezuka. Trying to carve out the angle for himself. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Takahiro Tezuka has come out with the tomahawk of a strike. Wow. <laughs> Look at this shot. Cuts inside his man. Hafizuja there. Just giving up as soon as the ball was cut in. Look, look at this cut in and then the shot. The goalkeeper. Did it go in the near post? What a finish from Tezuka. Rifled in. TT with a TNT. And Geelang right back in this at two apiece against Haugang, who just cannot seem to finish. They have finished that one. Zaiful Nizam caught off his goal line. This is a dramatic end. Andre Moritz was eyeing it all the way through. And Zaiful just stood on the penalty spot. Andre Moritz had looked at his goalkeeper and said, I am going to chip him if given the opportunity. And guess what? The audacity of the Brazilian, the brazen Brazilian, might have just salvaged three points for Haugang United. Wow. <laughs> just admire. Nothing to say about this. Absolutely nothing. Well, we were admiring a brilliant effort by Takahiro Tezuka. And just as we were talking about it and going all ballistic about it, now we need to give more props and bigger ones to Andre Moritz for that strike because that was vision and execution we're getting goals in spades two in three minutes to bring Haugang from 1-0 to 2-1 and then now two in two minutes to bring Haugang from 2-2 to 3-2 <laughs> Just as we were admiring Tezuka's finish. We didn't have time to really look at that. Andre Moritz, brilliant goal. Right down the middle for Keyshawn Phillips. Fresh legs, chance to run at them, create something. Might have wanted him to hold on to it a lot longer. Final opportunity, Abdul Qayyim, not a bad header down. That was contact, was it? Uh, referee says no. Abdul Qayyim, is that a penalty? Referee says play on. Bezakor does play on. Shot charged down. Abdul Qayyim also charged down. And it might go out for a corner if Nazarul Nazari is not careful. He'll try to shield it as long as possible. Waits for contact. Not a foul. Yeah, this is the one. <sighs> Tell you what, I've seen it given. Yep, yep, definitely. Uzaifa did stick out a leg on Shawal Anwar. This time it was a bodily challenge that came in on Abdel Qayyim and it's all over. A pulsating game that we've had lit up in the second 45 minutes. But, uh, Haugang came out storming in the second half. More purposeful, lots more urgency and the impetus in the attack with those diagonal passes finding the men and slowly but surely crept right back into the game. Just before that, the brazen Brazilian has done it. Moritz really just when you need your foreigner to pluck up his courage and guts came into the four created the first and won it in the end with that shot from midway from the center circle and it's a, an all-important win which gets them up to second in the table of course having played a game more than the likes of Tanjong Paga United who are still at the top of the SPL standings at the Haugang Stadium the Hools get the final say against the Eagles who tried their very best and looked good for 75 minutes before 
giving it all the way. Final score then, Geelong International 2, Haugang with their first win of the season. Three points, three goals, 3-2.